Karnataka, where the BJP is upping the ante against the state government. This is over the law and order situation in the state, particularly about the murder of a Jain monk that took place a couple of days ago. Now remember, this happened on Saturday, where a Jain monk's body was found chopped into pieces and dumped in an obsolete bore well that happened in Belagavi. Over the weekend, we saw several protests, not just in Belagavi, but across the state by the community uh, that was protesting for action. Now, two people were immediately arrested. The state says that a free and fair investigation is taking place, but that's a claim that the BJP is not ready to buy, which is why the BJP is now hitting the streets in protest, as you see on your screens. Former Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomma, in fact, was leading that protest just a short while ago. He spoke to CNN News 18 and accused the state home minister of letting the law and order situation derail in the state. He said that the state uh, government and the home minister, G. Parmeshwar, is in fact shielding the accused in the case of the murder of the Jain monk. Nothing short of a CBI inquiry is enough, says the BJP. Akshara, my colleague, joining us live from that protest site in Bengaluru. Now, Akshara, we see a march that has been uh, taken out by the BJP leaders, including former ministers, former Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai. Are they heading towards uh, the Vidhan Sauda because the assembly is in session? Well, right now they're heading from Vidhan Sauda. Meeting a memorandum to the governor demanding that there must be a. Home Minister G. Parmeshwara, why CBA inquiry is not law? So, once again, the, you have the Congress party reiterating that there is no need for a CBI inquiry into the matter, and our police officials are efficient enough uh, to carry out a probe. And he also stated that uh, you know the culprits have been arrested. But once again, you have the BJP upping its ante against the Congress party, you know, wherein they are stating that there is a larger conspiracy at play. So, a uh, normal investigation is not enough. They need a CBI inquiry into the matter. And as a result of which, as you can see in the visuals, uh, they are marching towards the governor's office. And they also state that they want the governor to direct the uh, the Congress government to ensure that they launch a CBI matter, into, a CBI probe into this matter. <laughs> Nothing short of a CBI probe is enough, says the BJP in the state of Karnataka. But this is mere politics, says the state government, isn't it? We had Priyank Kharge also just a short while ago, Akshara, come out and say that the Jain community itself is satisfied with the investigation and two people have already been arrested and the BJP is only politicizing this for their gain. Well, yes, absolutely. You know, after the death of this Jain monk, a, a, a police investigation was being conducted and uh, within six hours, in a short span of time, uh, the individuals, the uh, culprits were also arrested by the police and necessary action was taken. And, uh, you know, uh, the uh, Home Minister Ji Parmeshwara also met uh, other Jain monks who, uh, who were demanding for the safety and security of the Jain community. He spoke to them and the Jain monk also said that they were uh, satisfied with the investigation that had been taken, that, that took place and the arrests that were made and they were quite happy with the investigation that took place. But, uh, yeah, but once again you have the BJP up in its ante against the Congress alleging of a yes. larger conspiracy. Uh, and the Congress says that they have met the Jain community, they have met the Jain monks, they are satisfied with the uh, investigation that has took place. They are It's that a free and fair investigation, the community is satisfied, uh, says the government. Uh, do stay on with me, Akshara, I'll keep coming back to you. But Congress is Sanket Yanagi joining us on this broadcast. So thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. How do you look at this Padhyatra that the BJP is currently on? They say that the state government is shielding the accused in this particular case. And in general, the law and order situation is deteriorating is what the BJP alleges. First of all, the BJP has no moral ground to make such an allegation. It is on record that because of some personal reasons the murder has taken place, it is not because of the communal clash or it is not because of the social law and order problem. It is because of some personal reasons the murder has taken place. Immediately, the police has acted upon. The Home Minister has taken the stock of the situation. The Deputy CM and the CM has already taken stock of the situation. And everything is being investigated without any favor or bias. And when there is a fair investigation is going on, and that is in the hands of the police, who is acting independently without being any influence of anyone else, the BJP is trying to uh, fish in the troubled water. BJP is known for fishing in the troubled water earlier also, be it a case of uh, 
प्रवीण नत्तारो और हर्षा और बीट एनी केस बीजेपी इज नॉन फॉर सच थिंग्स एंड इट हैज लॉस्ट द मॉरल ग्राउंड एंड बीजेपी एट लीस्ट टू गेन सिंपति ऑफ द पीपल इट ट्राइड अर्लियर बट द पीपल हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट द बीजेपी इज मेंट फॉर and what the bd bjp is agenda in respect of a troubled situation and the people have voted the bjp out of power only because of such things and even the bjp now which it is doing it is damaging the bjp in further uh, mp elections also we welcome the bjp's move to expose itself to the general public let the public know what is the bjp and what is the bjp's agenda and how the bjp has trouble the state of karnataka's law and order because of such situations and politicizing such situations every death in the state of karnataka is being politicized by the bjp unfortunately they look at the death they expect that the death should take place so that they can politically gain something and this is not acceptable and that is how the people have voted against the bjp and they would do so even in the mp elections yes please. So Mr. Anagi you say that this demand of a CBI investigation by the BJP is uh, completely unnecessary and uncalled for The CBI investigation or the necessity of the same arises from the when the investigation is not being done properly by the state police or there has been a negligence in the part of the state police if the state police have acted immediately and without any favor or bias they have been dealing with the situation and arrests have taken place and they have been collecting evidence it is too early to decide as to whether there is a cbi investigation at this stage or not just because bjp wants it it cannot be referred to the cbi sure. there, there are certain yardsticks there are certain yardsticks sure. and unless and until so there's absolutely no need for a cbi 